Satellite imagery analyzed by American media suggests that the Wagner Group is seemingly transferring its forces to Eastern Europe following the unsuccessful uprising in Russia last month. The satellite images reveal that convoys affiliated with Wagner have appeared at the Asipovichy base in Belarus on July 16, after weeks of relative silence. According to the New York Times, the satellite imagery provided by Maxar indicates the private Russian military group Wagner has been relocating to the Asipovichy base, which is approximately 90 kilometers away from the capital city of Minsk in Belarus. During the past weekend, the base reportedly witnessed notable changes captured in satellite images, with dozens of vehicles, including large trucks and cars, seemingly starting to appear on July 15th and 16th. These vehicles bear resemblance to those observed in the Wagner convoy entering Belarus last week. The newfound military encampment of Wagner has attracted attention from the media and public ever since the private military group staged a rebellion on June 23rd and 24th. Wagner has agreed to negotiate with Minsk as an intermediary and has consented to the transfer of their forces to Belarus. Ukraine and several European countries have stated over the weekend that Wagner has begun to shift towards Belarus, and these nations are closely monitoring the group's activities. Following the news of Wagner's relocation to Belarus, there are reports suggesting that the former base near Asipovichy will serve as their new encampment. However, this mentioned base has remained relatively quiet in recent weeks. By comparing satellite images from July 4th to July 15th and 16th, noticeable changes can be observed at this base. The presence of additional vehicles and groups of people at the base indicates that Wagner has indeed moved to Belarus as agreed upon. According to Avia Pro, another convoy from Wagner has arrived in Belarus following the movement of at least two other convoys to the Eastern European nation over the past weekend. The third convoy consists of 20 vehicles, including pickup trucks, buses, and trucks. These vehicles are traveling in a line along the M5 highway from Bobruisk. Each vehicle prominently displays both Russian flags and the flags of Wagner. Previously, the Belarus Ministry of Defense released a video on July 14th showing members of the Wagner Group becoming military trainers for Belarusian soldiers. This is considered the first official indication of Wagner's presence in Belarus following the unsuccessful uprising last month, according to Bloomberg. The training activities took place at a camp near Osipovici, approximately 100 kilometers southeast of the capital city, Minsk. The footage shows Wagner members instructing the soldiers of the Belarusian Territorial Defense Forces. Maxim Payevsky, an official from the Belarus General Staff, stated, this is a new way to train the Territorial Defense Forces. He emphasized that the training program could be expanded nationwide in the future. Reuters, citing knowledgeable sources, reported that some Wagner members had arrived in Belarus on July 11. On July 11, the Belarus Ministry of Defense announced that as Wagner arrived and deployed their training forces, Minsk would pay special attention to sharing techniques and combat methods used by the armed forces of Belarus. Earlier in the month, President Lukashenko mentioned that Minsk had offered Wagner the use of some of Belarus's former military bases from the Soviet era, including the base in Osipovichy, which is approximately 200 kilometers from the Ukrainian border.